In this video, we're going to look at some of the features of Iveca Capture Pro. This version of Iveca is powered by our own optical character recognition engine called Eflux. Eflux provides features such as document redaction based on keywords or phrases. It also allows highlighting of words in documents and the conversion of documents into different file formats. It can be run as a standalone application or can be connected to our other products such as ScannerVision or DocVolant, our document management solution. This is the user interface for Iveca Capture Pro. This is the workspace. And here we have our documents window. In this window will be all of the documents that are imported from the various methods and various sources that we have. Below that, if there are multiple pages of a document, these will be shown in thumbnails and the size of the thumbnail can be changed. In the middle here, we have the composition window. The composition window allows users to drag and drop documents or pages from different documents and compose a new document. We also have document composition features such as flipping, rotating, deleting pages, adding blank pages. And underneath we have some image composition features such as de-skew, invert text and remove background noise. In the middle here we have the preview window. The preview window allows us to add annotations and signatures or initials. We can also add comments. In this window also is the preview window for comparing documents if we use features such as document redaction. On the right hand side we have our templates. If our templates are from our standalone solution they will be shown here and if you connect to ScannerVision server they will be shown here too. Our OCR languages will change and convert the document into the language of your choice. Should there be any metadata or questions that need to be answered on the template, they will be shown here. And at the bottom, we have the uploads. We can upload all of the documents, which is everything in this window. We can upload selected documents where you can select a number of documents from the document window. We can upload composed documents, which is the document that we've created in the composition window. Or we can upload everything which is all of the documents plus the composed documents. Following on from that, we also have a profile button. All of the panels that you see in Iveca can be customized. They can be reduced, they can be removed, and profiles can be set up for individual users in order for those to be activated, as shown here. And at the top, in this interface, we have a settings button. We have a button to open files from a disk. So these are files that are locally stored or stored on the network. We have the ability to import documents from a Twain scanner, such as a locally connected USB scanner or one that's on the network. We also have the ability here to take photos using a webcam or a devices camera. And finally, we can delete our documents or our images in this button here. The first feature we're going to show you is how to convert a document into another format. We're also going to show you the document composition window in order to do this feature. The first thing we need to do is just select our documents. And here we're going to select a number of documents like so. And these are now all in the document window. What I can now do is preview my different documents and just drag the different pages into my composition window. Like so. And there are various things that I can do now these are in the composition window such as making the thumbnails bigger, so it makes it easier to see. On an each document, you have the composition features, such as flipping and rotating, as mentioned earlier. Other things can be applied to the document, such as inverting text. Over here, we have the window where we do our annotations. Some of the features that we have are document redaction, 
so we can manually redact an area on the document or multiple areas. We can also highlight areas of a document as well, like so. Here we can add comments. We can also add a signature, ones that are preset that you have saved earlier and you can add initials or different stamps if you want. To allow verification of the work that you have done, certainly when we are using redaction, you can click this button here. This will compare the original document and the document with the changes that you have made. This allows you to ensure that you have redacted or highlighted the right words. If I wish to add data to this particular workflow, I can add the information in here. What I can also do though, is draw a box around the word or words that I want, click here and it will then populate automatically the text that I've highlighted. If however I have a barcode on the document, I can click the button next to this and this will provide the data in the barcode in the field that I've chosen. And when I'm happy, I can upload the document. One of the other things that we can do is to convert documents or compose documents into different file formats. On the left hand side, this is a PDF document, but by right clicking my mouse, I have the option to save as a text searchable PDF, a PDF, a Word document, or an Excel spreadsheet. And here I can name the document and choose to save it. At this point, the eFlux engine takes over and does the optical character recognition and the document conversion. And very quickly, the document is saved. In a similar way, we can take documents in our composition window and save those as a different file format as well, just by clicking on save and choosing the option that you want. And here, I'm going to save it back to my desktop in the same way as before. And again, the eFlux engine takes over, does the optical character recognition and the conversion into the file format that I've chosen. One of the great features of Iveka is the ability to redact parts of a document based on words or phrases, such as credit card numbers or email addresses. And in this example, we're gonna open a document and redact a name of a patient, for example, and highlight a company name. Documents can be brought into the system in any way, but in this case, I'm just going to open a document from my disk. And this is the document. And here, I have changed the settings within Iveka to redact the name Jane Doe, but also highlight the name ScannerVision. And I have a special template set up to do this called Redaction. Here, I can then compare the original document with the redacted elements of the document. So here, where the name Jane Doe appears twice, it has been redacted, and here, where the name ScannerVision appears, it's been highlighted. Redaction can take place on any number of words or phrases. So it could search for a social security number or a credit card number, as mentioned before. Once I'm happy and confirm that everything's okay, I can then put it into any workflow, whether that is through our ScannerVision server or directly into something like Docvalent. When a word or a phrase has been redacted, it cannot be searched if you change this into a text searchable PDF, for example. So that keeps the security of the document intact. <laughs>